Well, with me right now is the manager of our social service department, Betty Curley. And great to have you here today. Thank you for having me. I always like to come. Yes, and this time of the year, when we reach the holidays, uh, for a lot of people, it can be fun and joyful and full of family and food and right. fun and all that. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but for many others, it can be a hard time, right? It for can a be variety a hard time. of reasons. Um, number one, financially, because <clears throat> they don't have a, a lot of money to buy food. Um, and people who are alone, yeah. you know, it's difficult. So, um, but there are lots of programs out there to help people. Um, food is a basic need, and there are a lot of things that you can't help someone with, but we should be able to provide food <coughs> to people in need mm -hmm. um, in this country. Um, we work closely with the foundation, as you know. Right. And the foundation also does a lot of work with South County Outreach, who just shared a survey with us about um, seniors mm -hmm. that they serve in South Orange County and our village. Right. And just a <coughs> few um, pieces of stats, 31% of senior clients have gone hungry because they didn't have enough money for food. 30% um, of our Laguna Woods clients are living alone and 18% of their seniors are 80 years or older. Wow. So there are more seniors <coughs> um, utilizing these services. Right. So um, I think it's good to know about what's out there. Um, our department's a great place to find out about all of these programs, but right. there are um, <coughs> great food pantries um, locally. Saddleback does one once a month here in the community. Saddleback Church. Mm -hmm. They also have their main campus where they do one. Um, Crossline Community Church right on Moulton does one three days a week. Oh, they do? Okay. Yes, three days a week. And I think for there's always some um, criteria. Like for most, it's to right. approve your residency <coughs> or utility bill or an ID. Um, we, our department has worked with local churches and um, age well. And once <coughs> a month, second Tuesday of each month, Lutheran Church of the Cross, right, yeah. you can go and get a free, what they call the food box, a senior box. Um, and our foundation does a wonderful job of, you know, raising money for their fellow um, neighbors in need. Yeah. And one of the things that they do is provide us food cards. So that, to Stater Brothers, mm -hmm. for people, um, it's for an emergency situation. Right. Um, and as we come to winter, you'll, we'll have, um, Residents who have to decide, do I turn my heat on or do I buy some food? Because mm -hmm. it costs a lot of money to turn your heat on and use your heat. So uh, we don't want people to go hungry. Um, there, are, there are lots of programs that can help. Um, South Co County, along with the foundation, we also, once a month, we transport a group of residents, Laguna Woods Village residents, to the food pantry. Um, they're the only ones that are there. Okay. And Silver Street, nice. which is a transportation <clears throat> program from um, the Jewish Federation Family Service, mm -hmm. they provide the transportation. I think there's about 10 to 12 people involved right now. Um, and again, anybody interested can contact our office. Okay. But there's lots of opportunities. Nobody should go hungry. No. Um, it's, a, it's a basic need that we as, as human beings and, and neighbors should be you know, looking out for and taking care of. Um, and there's, there those. are opportunities. There are plenty. Um, during the holiday, the state um, uh, uh, foundation also provides additional stater cards, so somebody might be okay. able to buy a holiday meal, prepare it. Uh, Kiwanis Club uh, gives us, provides 10 baskets for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. Oh, they do? Yeah, Very and they good. provide a Costco chicken <clears throat> and yeah. then all the fixings. So. You know, there are organizations out there. There is help, and we are, um, you know, we have all that information. So anybody in need, call our office, social services, 949-597-4267. Okay. Uh, We're in the community center on the first floor, and we are there to help with this issue and a variety of, of issues for our, our residents in need. Yeah, and let's remind people, too, the different programs you have, the Friendly Visitor Program have and so on, visitor, especially this time of the year. Friendly Visitor <clears throat> Program, again, people who are living alone, uh, social isolation um, can cause both physical and, and mental mm -hmm. um, issues. People who are alone are depressed. Um, so that's a great program. It matches one active resident with somebody yeah. who's a little more 
frail and staying at home. Um, we have, of course, our social, social workers who provide um, a variety of resources, counseling, um, uh, brief case management, referrals, uh, some crisis intervention, educational okay. and services, um, support groups. <coughs> so, um, the foundation, we work very close again with the foundation, not just in food, but sometimes there are residents that need assistance right. with co pays for medical mm -hmm. and all of that. If you're living on a very fixed income, and um, we're getting residents living longer and longer, and sort of um, outliving their savings, and they need that little additional support. So, you know, um, we're here. It, it just, you know, give us a call, stop by our office, and do what okay. we Okay, you have a lot of good people we that do. work down there. We have great people. Yeah, and yes. again, with all the different things available that you might not be aware of, uh, to get some food or some help, yes. calling social services, call them first, because they tap into all of us, right? We do. We all do. right. We <coughs> Pardon you. me. Yeah. All right, again, their number is 597-4267, right on the screen, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. All right, take yes. care.